I have audited over 236 local business websites over the past two years, and 99% of them have this one error that keeps them from showing up on the first page of Google and generating any leads whatsoever. By the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how you can see if your website has this issue and how to fix it, give you a bit of a step guide on how to make sure you don't make it when you build a new website. If you don't know me, my name is Nico. I run an online community called the AI Ranking School Community where we teach and we support people rank their websites number one with the help of AI and automations. If you're interested, I'll leave a link below. That number one issue is a website site structure. This seemingly simple function is one of the most important foundations for you to rank your website number one and it's one of the things that I see people get wrong all the time. And this issue comes from two main mistakes, lack of preparation and grouping too broad. The grouping too broad is really important, but we'll get to that in a second. Let me illustrate this error with a website that I found that I know needs some serious help. This is a luxury pools built to last. So a business that builds pools, obviously in a location somewhere in the United States. And if I look down, they've got a couple of services. They not only do construction, but they do maintenance and renovations. And that's all well and good. But if I go to the services pages and I scroll down, I see that all of the services they offer are in one page. Each service doesn't have their individual pages. I can't go to an individual page that says pool slash spa construction and installation. And this is both problems listed right away. There was no preparation here and they grouped everything into a true broad of a page. The issue that this causes is it makes it extremely, sometimes nearly impossible to rank for each individual service for that location. And the location aspect is also where they're going wrong because it just says services and it don't, doesn't list the service. One thing you wanna keep in mind when you are creating your website is service plus location. And what do I mean by this? Well, let's take this pool cleaning business, right? a potential lead or a client might get them or generate them over $60,000. I'm assuming maybe that's how much a pool is worth. I have no idea. But if one lead is gonna cost you upwards of $10,000 or is gonna get you $10,000, then shouldn't you dedicate a single page appropriately for that lead, for that service when it's that important? And the answer is of course, yes, but we see this issue happen all the time. So how do we prepare ourselves, right? How do we fix this if we have this problem or how do we make sure that we don't do it? We do a little bit of a preparation and I've done this in two ways for you guys. I've built a prompt, which you can have. It is the local site architecture prompt. It looks like this. It'll be listed in the documents in the video description below. Now, once you paste the prompt into GPT-40, and you hit enter, it's gonna ask you a couple of questions. It's gonna say, please provide a business name, primary locations, core services. I did that with this business that we're taking a look at, Aquaspace, East Hamptons, and they have pool construction and spa constructions. They all have maintenance and renovations for both. And now it started creating a little bit of an overview and a site structure. Now, obviously you don't have to exactly follow this site structure to the letter, but it is a really good explanation of what could happen and why it's such a good thing. So the level zero is the first page, it is the first level of a website. But then when we get to one, we get to the subcategory or the child page of that service. For example, this page or this subservice would be pool construction and the subservice of that could be pool renovation and pool maintenance and the same with spa construction and spa renovation. So that's all good but we need to make sure that we also have that location. Okay, let me explain this in another way that's going to make things a bit easier. I've created a mock-up sitemap for this website that I think you should do for your site now or any website that you're going to, that you're going to build moving forward. And I've got these services and this services would be a little drop down with two choices. And I got this idea from the GPT because it already spread the pool and the spa as different categories as they should be. And in that drop down, if I were to click pool, then I would be taken to a page that says pool services in Hamptons, where I've got the service plus the location. This is really good for local SEO because I've got the exact services and the exact location. Ideally, I want a little call to action, book now, get a free consultation, whatever it is that you offer in that initial booking. 
And then within that page, I also want the other services that I offer for that, the sub services. So for the pool services in Hamptons, they have pool construction services, pool maintenance, pool renovations. If you're a plumber, for example, this might be plumbing services and these sub services might be pipe leak repair, hot water installation, you get the idea. And then what I want to do is if I click on the pool construction services in Hamptons, so if I take a look at the services page, ideally if I click here or here, I go to a dedicated page that says pool construction services in the Hamptons because this matches the exact search term of somebody in the Hamptons looking for pool construction services. You also have a call to action, maybe in there you can fit in some other keywords really granular to that service. We do custom pools, we do infinity pools and you allow that space for that page to rank for these keywords. You might have reviews, FAQs and here at the bottom, ideally you have similar services. So if I go back to the main hub for pool services in Hamptons and I click on pool maintenance, I go to a dedicated page for that pool, pool maintenance services in Hamptons with the same stuff and the similar services, either renovation or construction because I've built the page there. And this does a couple of things extremely good for SEO because one, we are answering the exact search intent of somebody that might be looking for that service. If somebody's looking for pool maintenance in the Hamptons as opposed to pool construction services in the Hamptons. Well, I'm definitely going to be showing the page that is dedicated for pool maintenance services in the Hamptons over a generic page with all these services in there. Because while this technically might match my search intent, meaning might have what I'm looking for, it's nowhere near as exact as a page dedicated for what I was looking for. And now that we've got that structure, we can just replicate that to the spa. And if we've got another service, let's say a hot tub, we can replicate it to the hot tub, hot tub building, hot tub renovation, hot tub cleaning, for example. But each one needs their dedicated page. And the second thing that I've done here is I've also not messed up the menu. I haven't done a humongous, dirty mega menu with all these services in there. No, and I don't need that. I don't need that because I don't want to create the menu into a dog's breakfast. And also, if I look at it from the searcher's point of view, their journey, if I'm looking for Googling, chatgpt perplexity, spa construction services in the Hamptons, Google is a lot more likely to show me that page, not the home page. So I don't necessarily need to have that on the menu of the home page. I just need it somewhere on the website that is appropriately linked throughout it. What you don't want is a, a orphan page. Some of you might be thinking, well, that is a lot of pages that I, that I need to generate because you might have, let's say, six services and you want to rank for six different locations. How many pages do I need to build? That seems like a lot. Well, I've built another tool for you and again, I'll leave it in the video description below that you put these services on the left-hand side and the locations on the right-hand side. So let's do that for this business right away. So I've got all these services they have, pool construction, pool renovation, pool cleaning, the same with spa. And let's here put here East or Hampton East, I think it is. Is it Hampton? I don't know, Hampton East. And let's say they also wanna to go to Hampton West. The more granular you get, the better. So it's two locations. I'm going to generate the pages. And this application is going to tell me that I need a total of 12 pages. So for Hampton East, I need pool construction, pool renovation, pool cleaning, spa construction, spa renovation, spa cleaning. And for Hampton West, I need the same thing. So that's six pages, each location, I need 12 pages. And now at this point, you might be thinking, that seems ridiculous, that's a lot of pages. And yeah, you're right. Those of you who are worried about content duplication, I'm gonna show you how to make sure that you don't duplicate it and how you don't have to worry about so much work in generating all these pages. So you can automate all of the generation of that content. This is part of what we teach in our community. You can find this automation inside our community. So this is the local SEO page generator where in this Google Sheet, we have a list of all the locations that we're trying to generate pages for. And then we have separate custom GPTs that generate sections of the page, not the entire page. 
And what we have here is the special special magic trick section or what makes these location pages so high quality as opposed to very granular, generic, and are gonna get done for content duplication, and that is perplexity. Perplexity is doing the research of that page. And then with that research, each GPT is going to make the sections of the page. What if you don't require so much research? That is okay. As long as the page title, the meta description, a few of the H1s and H2s, and a bit of the description is very granular to the location, it is going to be fine. You won't get done for content duplication. You can also do this with custom GPTs or assistant GPTs that you build in the back end with a knowledge base. So they understand what they're building the page for, who they work for, and they build all of the content. So in one afternoon or in two hours, you can generate 12, 200 pages even, or the content of those pages quite easily. This content then all goes to a Google Doc that you can read through and make sure that you're happy with it. And that is it. I'm gonna keep it nice and simple today, but I see this error happen so often. Please don't commit the same error. And if you've got that issue on your page, if you've got multiple services that you offer in the one page, please plan it out like I have here and create more pages for the individual services that you offer. If you work so hard for those leads or for those services and they generate you some kind of revenue, you should dedicate that service in that location its own page. If you found value in this video, all I ask is that you consider subscribing to the channel, hit the like button, and if you're interested in learning how to rank your business number one with AI tools and automations, check out our school community. The link is in the description below. Cheers, I'll catch you on the next one.